Project Runway recap, season 13, episode 7, Priceless Runway. So first off, one of the things that we were discussing right before the episode was how incredibly strange, stop it, how incredibly strange it was It was that uh, Tim made the comment about how if it was later in the season, I would have saved you because either she's good enough to save or she's not. So I didn't quite get it. So when he decided to keep her, bring her back, use his Tim gun save, it actually was, it made sense. I think it was the right choice to bring her back. Yeah. I mean... Uh, I think she's a great designer. I was really surprised she went home because we hadn't seen anything of her all season. So I kind of felt like she'd show up occasionally in an episode, make some, you know, some funny remark, and then we wouldn't see her again, which isn't how Project Runway edits their contestants. Everybody gets their day before they go home. Anyway, um, but I'm not totally sure if I buy that Tim legitimately sent her home and the next, and stayed up all night worrying about it and changed it. I'd like to believe that's what happened. That, that what we saw is exactly what happened. John, can you focus? No. Okay, what do you think? I, everything on the internet and TV is true. So clearly, that's how it that's happened. That's how it happened. Yeah. So you, you lean toward the production made it up. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there there you go with that. Now we go into the challenge, Chopard, jewelry, design around a piece of jewelry. It's a it's a great challenge. The jewelry was gorgeous. I mean, sometimes they kind of have these like integrated challenges where they're like, design around this, you know. <laughs> Campbell soup. <laughs> they did have Campbell soup. Are you serious? Uh, Canada did. They did oh, the Cam Camber soup, protect your heart, and they did integrate the red and white. Anyway. Let's anyway. Um, a music video. I was thinking of a music video that's awful, but this is a great one. Gorgeous piece of jewelry. And it is, truthfully, those pieces of jewelry are the kind of jewelry you would have a custom-made dress around. If I had a $3 million necklace, yeah, yeah. I would pay a couple thousand bucks to have a custom jewelry. Anyway, standard design. Some people do good, some people do bad. Let's start with the top. So we have Amanda, who had that jumpsuit that the whole episode... She... The jumpsuit was nice. That thing on top was not... Very well fitted. I'm, I'm not ever a fan of that kind of sheer material where you can see the seams. I always feel like it's... I, I just... I'm, I've never been a fan of that on anything. I don't like sheer sleeves. I don't know. I just... I'm not... She didn't like it. I'm not quite sure why she was in the top. I feel like they really like Amanda, so everything she does is, is good. Even she didn't like it, right? Even she was like, maybe I shouldn't. And they're like, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Um, let's see who else was the top. Shaw was the top. Another one, he had the blue dress. The guy who keeps getting immunity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they think he, everything he does, and I'm, I kind of find them just, you know, yeah, yeah, nothing that special. I mean, and it was then, good, but... And then Karina had that jacket. I will, I know, you really were bummed. I really wanted to hate that, but she did quit talking about everybody else, which was nice this episode. Good job. And I really thought it was going to come out looking like a freaking couch, but it... It I was really nice. I, I mean, it was good. Yeah. It should be in the next Underworld movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you go. Get in touch with the producers. Um, no, I felt the same way. I I wanted to hate it. I wanted her to go home. I wanted to be a huge failure just because she annoys me. Her behavior it, on it the show. It was better this episode. But this one, she was really focused. Or and they I, edited her nicely. I don't... Fair enough. One of those. Uh, but I really like, I really did like the jacket and deserved the win. So there you go. Bottom, we had Keeney. The biggest issue was his fabric. If his fabric had been different. But it was like, he was in the bottom, but people were still like, I like it. Yeah. So it was kind of like, okay. There you go. We had um, Alexander with his lava dress, which I totally said was lava. And then Tim called it lava. And I was like, oh, I'm so, I'm so smart. Why can't people be here seeing this? Anyway, um, it, it had a neckline that obscured that huge, I think it was the spinel. Um, anyway, and, uh, and then we had Sam, and it was just too basic. And what is the Project Runway rule if you have super weird and boring? John. Boring always goes home. Boring always goes home. <laughs> Haverstock family rule. Boring always loses. Weird always wins. So that's pretty much the episode. There you go. That is our recap. I'm scared of the dog. <laughs> Did you want to say anything? No. Okay. Come here, Dylan. Come here. <laughs>